What is up investors? In this video we will go through what a stock market index is and some popular different stock market indices. And make sure to stick to the end to know which popular stock market index soared almost 500% during the last 10 years. These are absolutely crazy returns guys. And I will let you know which index model is the best one. And I will also give you some suggestions on ETFs that you can look into if you want to invest into these indices yourself. So a while ago I got this comment on one of my videos and this is my attempt to answer it. So what is a stock market index? A stock market index represents an average of the stock market and it tells us how the average of the assets included in the index moves. So if we look at the US stock market index S&P 500 for example, this gives us a good indication of how the US stock market as a general moves. You can visualize a stock market index sort of like a basket filled with different companies. So during a day, some of these companies are going to go up and others are going to go down. But on average, when we look at them all together, this basket will move in one specific direction. So if this basket of stocks as a whole is going up during the day, then we say that the stock market index or just simply the stock market has gone up during the day. Now, this might seem quite simple, but there are some things that I want you to be aware of when it comes to indices. For example, not all indices are constructed equally. One stock market index is different from another. They don't include the same stocks and they can be weighted in different ways. So you've probably heard of S&P 500, the Dow Jones Industrial Average or the Nasdaq Composites, for example. So these are all more general indices. And there are other stock market indices that follow other markets, such as the European, the Asian, or even the whole global stock market. Or they can follow a specific sector. For example, we have the Nasdaq CTA Artificial Intelligence and Robotics Index, or the Realty Shares Nasdaq Blockchain Economy Index. Also, the stock market is not the only assets that have their own indices. In fact, there are approximately 5,000 indices alone in the US. So we have, for example, the US Aggregate Bond Market Index that, as you can hear, follow the bond market. So not all stock market indexes are constructed the same. So they can be constructed or weighted in different ways. And this means that the included stocks are not included equally, but they're included or weighted based on some parameter. So some companies might have a higher weight than the index and some might have a lower. So most commonly a stock market index is market capitalization weighted, but there are also for example price weighted indices. So this means that the stocks are weighted either based on the value of the company or the stock price. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is an example of a price weighted stock market index and this index includes the 30 largest stocks in the US by market cap. And even though the name includes industrial, this index doesn't only include industrial stocks anymore, and the index includes stocks from all major sectors. The name merely reflects the historical aspects of this index being one of the first US stock market indices created already in 1896. So being a price-weighted stock market index means that the weight of the included stocks is based on the share price. So this means further that stocks with a higher share price will make up a higher proportion of the stock market index. So the Dow Jones Index represents about 25% of the total US stock market. So this index serves as a good indicator of how the US large cap is doing. As this index is price weighted, a price change of say $1 will have a larger effect on the index if it happens in a stock with a higher price than a stock with a lower price. And this is contrary to what the effect is for the actual stock. So if a stock price at say $100 drops by $1, the stock price has gone down by 1%. But if the stock price at say $10 drops by $1, this represents a 10% drop. So for the stock with a lower price, the $1 drop represents a larger decline. But in the price weighted stock market index, the stock price at 100 would have a much higher weight compared to the stock price at 10. So does the $1 drop will have a larger effect on the index when it happens in the stock with a higher share price? Another well-known stock market index is the Standards and Poor's. 500 or short to S&P 500 and as you can probably guess by the name this index includes stocks from 500 companies Among these are also the 30 companies included in the Dow Jones index So this is a market weighted or capitalization weighted stock market index and this means that the weight of each company is based on the market value So larger companies such as Apple, Amazon, Microsoft or Google for example They make up a much larger weight on the index than smaller companies such as the TDX companies, the Dominion Resources or the Cigna Corporation for example 
S&P 500 is an index committee that decides which 500 companies is going to be included in the index. And they take into account factors such as the market's value of the company, but also the sector liquidity and trading history, for example. So this index represents about 80% of the total US stock market, so it's a good indicator of how the stock market as a whole performs. And then we have the Nasdaq Composite Stock Market Index, another market weighted index that includes stocks from the whole Nasdaq Stock Exchange. So this means that some non-US based companies are also included in this index and it also means that the stock market index has some overweight in technology stocks as many tech companies are traded on the Nasdaq Stock Exchange. And also tied to the Nasdaq we have the Nasdaq 100 index. That includes the 100 largest non-financial companies listed on the Nasdaq Stock Exchange. Now, if you want to invest in these indices, you want to find an index fund or an ETF that follow these indexes. So index funds, including passively managed ETFs, are designed to track a specific index as closely as possible. So by investing in an index fund, you get instant diversification and your investment will follow the moves on the stock market as a whole or the sector that the stock market index is tracking. As an index fund just follows an index and invest based on preset rules. They are passively managed. And this in turn means that you have lower expenses than actively managed funds where a fund manager analyzes and picks individual stocks. So this means lower fees for the investor. And if you want to know why index funds are such a great investment alternative, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell down below to not miss out on my upcoming video where I will go into more detail on this matter. And while you're at it guys, make sure to smash the like button as well, this will help me out tremendously. And now most importantly, which index and index model is best to invest in? So if you want exposure against less volatile blue chip stocks, then the Dow Jones index is for you. Have a look at the SPDR Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF, ticket DIA. And are you looking for a broader exposure than the S&P 500 might be for you? You can invest into this index through the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, ticker VOO. And would you like exposure more towards the tech sector? And with the performance of this lately, who wouldn't? Then the Nasdaq Composite or Nasdaq 100 might be for you. So to invest in the Nasdaq 100, you can have a look at the Invesco QQQ ETF, ticker QQQ. But remember that this is very heavily skewed towards the tech sector, with over 50% of the holdings belonging to the technology sector. And if you want to track the Nasdaq as a whole, then have a look at the Fidelity Nasdaq Composite Index Tracking Stock, ticker 1Q. So I want to point out that these are just suggestions and there are more alternatives out there. Here's a comparison of these indices during the last 10 year period. So the Nasdaq 100 is the orange one, the Nasdaq Composite is the green one, the S&P 500 is the red one and the Dow Jones is the black one. I was amazed to see how the two Nasdaq indices has outperformed the other two indices with more than double the returns. But this comes with a price of much higher volatility as well, so make sure that you can mentally handle this if you want to invest into these indices. So how about the different methods of weighing indices? Is any method better than the other? When comparing the index models, research suggests that an equally weighted index actually outperforms the value or price weighted index in the long run, if rebalanced often enough. So instead of including companies in an index based on some parameter or different weighting method, then you should just include all companies in equal proportions. And there is, for example, an equally weighted S&P 500 index. Here, every included company weighs 0.2% in the stock index. However, I compare the market weighted S&P 500 against the equally weighted S&P 500 index and during the last couple of years the market weighted index has outperformed. And this is largely due to the large tech companies performance as these have a much higher weight in the market weighted index. So when you look at indices and compare your own investments to them, and I really recommend that you do this regularly. Are you beating the index? Let me know in the comments below guys. Or would you be better off simply investing in an index fund? So when you compare to an index, there's some things to consider. Think about which index best represents your investments. And be aware that some indices include di dividends reinvested and some will not. So if you want to compare over a longer time period, then you should make sure to have the dividends reinvested as this makes up a great part of the stock market gains. So look at an index that includes total returns on sometimes just simply written as TR. 
Also actively managed mutual funds or hedge funds will most likely have a benchmark index that they will compare themselves to to see if they are performing better or worse than the index. So if you're investing into these types of funds, have a critical look at which index they are comparing themselves against to. And especially if there's some type of performance based fee involved because sometimes fund managers are a bit sneaky and they will compare themselves to a, an index that would make themselves look better in some way so that they can take up more of these fees involved. It might not be the general market index such as the S&P 500 that you think it is. If you like this video guys make sure to not miss out on my upcoming content so hit the subscribe and the little bell and give me a like for the YouTube algorithm. This will help me out tremendously guys. So thank you so much for watching all the way to the end and see you all next time.